After a heartbreaking day that gave so many answers to the Goff and Davis families, we were in an area of Steubenville, Ohio, that plagued so many for so long, searching for Karen Adams, a teaching aide and cashier who went missing in 2007 after several hours of gambling at the Mountaineer Casino. As well as searching for Karen, the Jefferson County Sheriff's Department and FBI had asked us to also look for a 1999 Ford pickup truck that went missing along with its owner in October of 1999. All right, folks, I got Josh Hammond here. Once again, we are at Steubenville Marina in uh, Steubenville, Ohio. This place is a very likely place. Josh will tell you why, because he knows he, he's, got the, uh, he's got the better idea. Helping us out, so what's going on with it? Got a little piece of info from a detective that actually helped work on the case that um, her cell phone actually pinned down here in Steubenville after she just, uh, after she just, after she left us. So going with that information now, we have switched gears and went south. South of Steubenville boat ramp, it just went through um, her, her last cell phone ping. We're gonna go and, and search this whole area right here even the uh is that the west virginia side even the west virginia side and the ohio side and uh, hopefully we can find her um the water is rough so hopefully that doesn't hinder our searches if not josh we will be back this this potentially will be our last day here we've been here for a week we just got finished with joni and uh, uh brian's case so and that was wonderful i can't believe we you know we brought him home so I want to say thank you on that one because you're uh, full faith in your abilities. Buddy. All right, let's go search. Lindsay's got her earmuffs and uh, six layers of clothes, and and a heater in the in the in the boat, uh, and, and, and a vest or and a jacket. I actually do have six. I was like, do I actually have six layers on? But I yeah, do. she's got six layers on. Got, like shirts. And don't worry, that layers. hoodie gets washed every day. She's just not wearing it. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna keep her warm. I'm taking care of her. I promise. My dad will kill you if you don't. See you guys in the water. Friday's arrival at the marina yielded so many questions as to what could possibly be hidden in the Ohio River. There was a newly constructed bridge that replaced the once worn path connecting Ohio and West Virginia. We had heard many rumors about the things we would find in this stretch of water. Almost as quickly as we put the boat in the water, we began to go over a vehicle, then another, then another. We had quickly come to the summation that we had ran into an extremely target-rich environment. Find all kinds of cars in here. Car. car. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> no, that's a car on top of a car. I mean, it's almost 20 feet long. That's another car. There's the truck. That's what I was looking at. Oh my God! Big truck. Big giant Ford Dully. How many vehicles are in here? So surprising to have so many vehicles, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Our first day at this location, we found 11 vehicles. Inside, inside, inside. All right, guys, we're gonna we're gonna get these vehicles marked and then um, gonna dive on them. Not all of them marked because I'm not gonna be able to dive on all of them. Not today, anyway. I'll probably be too cold by the time I'm done. Right side throw. Once again. As we began to lose the daylight, we chose two targets that were most likely to match Karen's. This is the car. Yeah. Yes, this is the car we were looking at to see if it was Karen. What part is the truck in down? Right, uh, see that little white buoy floating kind of oh, right there? Yeah. Yep. So what I'll do is I'll come out and then I'll go down over there. Or get to it tomorrow, just be careful. With law enforcement on scene, Jacob entered the water with the safety line tethered to him. Line. <laughs> All
gonna rain a little bit tonight and it's gonna stop at seven in the morning and be about 43 degrees the rest of the day. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> that is slightly He'll warmer. Still go in there at that? Yeah. You really? got sun? So he, uh, he, the, the quarry that, that they dive at, that they trained at is 43 degrees. Clear. All right, so that's his light right there. Yeah. So he should be coming up. There's no license plate on it. The only thing I get off of it was the back tail light. Yeah. Completely silted out. It's a Mercury, it's not our car. Careful, brother. Always. Very bad. Love you, bye. So it's a rule that when he goes down, Eric goes down, Trey goes down, whoever goes down, everybody says, love you, bye. So that way, if something, God forbid, were to happen, at least you got to say, love you, bye. So what he'll do is he'll go down, he'll figure out, basically so they call it diving by braille. <laughs> Most of the time you can't see anything down there. So everything they do is by feel and touch almost always. This was a 1990 Ford F250 that y'all 1999. Okay. 99. So that'd be a big That's our that may I be would, our missing guy. I would do from how 20 old years was this ago. Individual? He he'd be about 82 right now. He so was, he was about 60? He was 60, about 60 when he disappeared 22 years ago. But like with Jacob, he will always try to pull up. If there's no plates, at least an emblem or something. So that way we can identify the vehicle something to say this is a Dodge, a Chevy, a Ford. It's a navigator. Unsure if it was the weight or the cold, sitting on the bank was excruciating. As he surfaced, it was with dismay that he told us that both vehicles were not Karen's. Nope. He's not valid. Okay. <laughs> That's how fast people do it. I think a majority of the cars down here will probably be stolen. Yep. Oh, you just leave the buoys in there till tomorrow? Yeah. Okay, I will be back. We began to formulate a plan and return the next day. Coming back on Saturday, with the bitter cold quickly making itself known, we knew that we had to be meticulous but swift. Choosing to first sonar down a bit farther and then marking the vehicles we wanted to clear first, we moved quickly. If I wasn't sick, I am now. Ooh. Ugh. Why did you drive so fast, Josh? I'm all behind the, uh, behind the steering wheel, brother. We 
Because if it was me, we'd have been put, we'd have been putting up there. <laughs> Josh is like, we'd be her. driving backwards. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've been so warm all this time, and now it's cold. Cold. I appreciate you guys staying. Oh, my nose is running now. Your feet should run. Your nose should smell. I don't get that. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't get that. How can your nose run? Your feet are the ones. I, that I run. understand, but oh wait. Oh, see, yeah. There, there it is. Go. There it is. Let's see the drive shaft. Tires up. That's a car if I ever did see one. That's a car. You can see the drive shaft and everything. Not All right, so Not let's go ahead and get the magnet out. Somebody stand in the back. Josh, you want to do that for me, buddy? Yeah, buddy. So, that's not, that you're... Yeah, that's all tangled up. What'd you do, baby Zeus? What happened here? What the... Oh, I know. Oh. It's untangled. Just, just grab this. Okay, just start. This is what happens when Jacob touches things. Straight out. Straight out? Now. And then you'll bob it until you feel a oh, pull. Locked. Okay. Go in. Then drop the whole thing. Yep. Josh has done a huge amount of leg work on this case. So huge props to Josh for uh, for allowing us to come down here, help you out, and uh, for the leg work you've done. Thank you guys for coming. And Lindsay is all bundled up. She has her heater. She's being taken care of, I promise. And as soon as that comes, as soon as that propane goes out, I get another one. So we're gonna go <coughs> back. I'm gonna get dressed up. We're gonna dive on this other car we've seen with the straight in shot. And then we're gonna dive on the nine other ones that are over there at that marina. Sound good to you, Josh? Sounds good to me, brother. Let's get it. Love you, bye. That is it. It's not it. Nope. Top part of it. Okay, just roll it in there. Yep. Sound cold, buddy. Huh? Sound cold. You're just tired. I can't tell which one. Cool. The water's like 48 degrees. <laughs> yeah. I kind of figured you might be a little chilly, you know. But a little chilly. I was 100 percent sure. Okay. Got a scoop of boogie. Lots of them. Huh? Lots of them. Not the vehicle. Ooh, God. The water's a bit chilly. Middle. Locating two more targets of concern, Jacob dressed and under the water surface he slid. One after another, he cleared them, but still no signs of the little maroon Forenza we were searching for.
couldn't pull in any identification off of it. It does have, it's an F-250 Super Duty. And there's a bag inside of it. And it's like, got plastic coming up the side of it. I couldn't identify it, there was any, anything in there. But there's something at the bottom of the passenger side. I'm just gonna call the captain. Call the captain. I gotta get out of this water. Maybe it looked like a Uh -uh. I'm cold. While no plates were attached, a Ford F-250, black in color, was located. Unfortunately, the cold had made its way into Jacob's dry suit and it became unsafe for him to continue for the day. Again, we made a plan with the intentions of returning the next day. I know now what a, I know now what a popsicle feels like. Bonnie back there by the, by the tail hey, Captain, how are you? It was too cold, I had to come up. I'm staying for another day. You get to see our smiling faces again. Here's Jacob, I'm gonna let you, let you hear it from him. Hey Cap, hey Captain. What's up buddy? Hey buddy, uh, first of all I'm cold, but second of all, there's an F-250 black in color by the, by the green buoy. Um, the windows are all busted out. Okay. Um, extended cab truck. Extended cab truck. F-250. Uh, definitely an F-250. Yep, we got the uh, okay. emblem. F-250. Black. black. Um, I couldn't get identification number off of it. Anywhere. The bumper's ripped off. The front of the truck's ripped off. But, like the front, like hood and fenders? Yeah. Okay. Um, it's been there for a long time. I want to say it's been there for at least 20 years. Okay. I'm pretty positive it's his. Okay, and then you can, you can see stuff on the passenger side? It's a bag of some sort, and there's some material in the floorboard of the seat where the bag is. I, I, I can. I, I need to get out of this suit, sir. What's that? I need to get out of this suit. I'm cold. Oh, yeah, yeah. Are you staying another night, you said? You said? I can. It's up to you. Like, whatever you think. You know. It's whatever you guys need me to do. Um, you think it would be worthwhile diving in again to see it? If I, was, if, if I wasn't cold, I could probably go in there and investigate a lot more. But I need to get out and get cooled off. If you can do it again tomorrow. I'm good. No, I reckon I'll meet you back down there tomorrow. Stay another night? Yeah, I can. I, I can. Okay, okay Jacob, he, he's got to go. He's got to get out of these clothes. I'm good. Oh, God. I got it, I got it, I got it. I'll meet you. All right, yep. Thank you, sir. Have a good evening. No problem.